Well, now get ready for your skin to crawl. A scorpion invasion in the valley, really. We're talking dozens and dozens and dozens of them, and we have the video proof for you tonight. Here's CBS 5's Jose Miguel. They're creepy. That's so gross. That's so gross. They're crawly. So bizarre. And according to exterminators, they're here to stay. This is horrible. Scorpions are invading the valley in record numbers, and no one knows better than the Miller family just how bad it's gotten. This is half of what we found that one night. That's right, half. 72 of them the first night. They first noticed a few around the house until a neighbor said, check the back wall. And that's where they found all of these and then some. See this one right here? That one's the one with babies. At first, they would kill them by stepping on them. Just knowing they're carrying around even more of more scorpions. We always think that's a good kill. That's a good kill. But then it got to be too much. Where are they coming from and how do I get rid of them? That's a lot. Exterminator Steve Martin says the Millers aren't alone. His calls have increased this year for scorpion problems. We're getting... Overall average, I'd say five to ten a week. And the driest monsoon in 30 years means less crickets, which means less food for the scorpions. Cricket is the main food source for scorpions. They like soft-bodied insects, so kind of like steak is to us. And it doesn't take much for these guys to get in. If you have a hole that's big enough for a paperclip to slip through, well, that's all it takes. And it takes a professional to get them out. Power spraying. Uh, dusting, uh, going back around with the wettable powder uh, seems to work very well. At Barbara's house, the whole family has already been stung. You know right away that you've been stung, and slowly um, the pain just creeps through. Now she's hoping a frequent visit from her bug guy will get rid of them for good. I'm not going to move out of this house because of this. I mean, we'll just keep getting sprayed. In Gilbert. Oh, gosh. That's so gross. Jose Miguel, CBS 5 News. Gross, but not over. Unless we get three straight days of freezing temperatures to kill off the scorpions, we are stuck with them for the rest of the year. The other reason some of those captured scorpions are actually pregnant. If you look closely under this black light, you can see the eggs on the back of the pregnant scorpions. The eggs are clumped together like a huge black glob on the back of this one. That's just